Hi guys, and welcome to the channel, Hillbilly Military Modeling here. And I thought we'd do something a little different in this build. Uh, this would be the CSS HL Hunley by Micromere in 135th scale. This is a inbox kit review. Now I know there's some Navy guys out there, so I thought we'd go ahead and try this uh, Civil War submarine. And this is kit number 35013, and it was released in 2014. And as you can see here, there's not a lot of parts to this kit. So let's take a look and see what we got in the instructions. On the first page, uh, we have the history of the vehicle, really short history, uh, which I like to see. And when we open up our instructions, uh, you can see here that the uh, the kit is really a simple kit as far as the number of parts that we have. It does have a small sprue map at the top of the page and that's important because the sprues do not have <laughs> any numbers on them so you're gonna have to use that sprue map to identify the items. So Micro Mirror thought that uh, it would be better for us to drill out these portals that are on this um, submarine. But they didn't tell us what size to drill these out, so uh, we'll have to figure that out along the way. And uh, also, we've got a lot of PE parts, but here on the hatches, they want you to use stretched sprue as the hinge. So <laughs> uh, we'll have to work with that. And that's, that's on both of the, uh, uh, the front hatch and the rear hatch of the sub. And as we look at the instructions, the rest of it is pretty straightforward. I don't really see any tremendous issues, but I do suspect that there will be uh, quite a bit of filler having to be used on the seam of the, the hull. So we do have a lot of PE parts. The propellers are uh, PE. Um, and also the propeller guard is PE uh, photo etch also. And the rest of it is pretty much straightforward. I, it's not a complicated kit. However, I do see that there might be some issues. Uh, we'll have to just deal with that as we get into the build, which should be pretty interesting. Now on the back of the instructions, we do have our call out for the uh, colors. And the sub was just painted black. So taking a look at our uh, hull sections, it's a two-piece hull. And you can see that there's also some detail on the interior, but we're not going to be able to see very much of that. Uh, there is uh, quite a bit of flash in certain areas, and the molds are, well, <laughs> not the best in the world. Um, we'll, we'll have to do some cleanup, but that's not a big issue. Uh, as you can see here, we have a lot of rivet detail. The rivets aren't that pronounced, so if we have to reproduce some rivets, that could be uh, a little bit of a challenge for us, but uh, we will work our way through that. And here you can see the uh, portals that we're going to have to drill out. Um, we'll figure out what size those will have to be. And there is some flash right on the edges of uh, the stern of the sub. And they do have the sprue gates uh, molded into the edge. So we'll have to sand and clean that up. Um, we'll see how well that clips off. And uh, we'll have to clean that edge up. So we have one sprue of colored plastic, and this has all the other, <laughs> all the parts, uh, other than the PE for, uh, for the kit. And as you can see here, uh, there is a little bit of flash, but 
the uh, the the molds are not uh, misaligned, so it should be pretty easy to clean that up. Um, here we're looking at the hub for the propeller, and uh, there is a box that goes on the top of the sub that has the snorkel tubes, and they're not molded very well. Uh, and other than the flash, I uh, don't really see any real issues other than that before mentioned box that goes on the uh, top of the sub. So we'll have to see how that's going to work out. And here you can see center screen, that's, that's that box that I'm referring to. So uh, our rudder, it, it looks pretty nice, pretty crisp. We also have dive planes. And you can see one of the snorkel tubes, a little bit of cleanup around that. And uh, we have our long uh, spar. I think maybe it's a spar. The uh, explosive charge was attached to the end of that. And here we have our uh, clear parts. And so these are the portals uh, and the hatches. And uh, Micromir did provide us with some masks for uh, these clear parts. Uh, we don't know if <laughs> we're going to use those or not. Uh, here you can see that those uh, portals are really small pieces. And these are the items that we have to drill the holes for. Now we do have one small sheet of photo etch and that has uh, the hinges for the hatches on it as well as the guard for our propeller and the blades for the propeller and uh, also the brackets for our charge. Now they provide us with a base uh, for the sub to sit on and there are some uh, sprue gates that need to be cleaned up on the edge of it. I would rather the uh, sprue still be attached to it so I can fix that. And these are the uprights that go on the base. Uh, they do have some sink marks, which uh, I guess maybe we'll have to fill that. So that will conclude our inbox review of this kit. I'm looking forward to getting uh, started on this one. Special thanks to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, then uh, what are you waiting for? Uh, it's free. And make sure that you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, if you have any comments, I'd like to hear from you guys. And I'm looking forward to this build. And all you Navy guys out there, this one's for you. And also, uh, this kit comes from the Ukraine, and uh, so we're going to build this uh, in support of Ukraine. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.